What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today we're focusing on the Washington Capitals re-signing of Braden Holby and uh, John Erskine in a two-year extension. Holby signed a two-year $3.7 million extension. That'll pay him uh, $1.7 million next season and $2 million in 2014-2015. Uh, you know, he was going to be a restricted free agent, but, you know, getting him locked with fair two-year extension I think is a good move. Um, you know, his numbers aren't what they were last year when he was great in the playoffs and upset the Boston Bruins. Um, you know, he's right now got something like a three-something goals against average, five 337 and 896 save percentage. Um, you know, he's definitely got to be. His last 16 he's played very well. Full cone 4 and 2 with a 235 goals against average and a 926 save percentage. So, you know, he'll come around. He's a, he's a good goalie. We've seen what he can do. And I think that deal's fair. Because, you know, even though you can say, well, you know, he's great in the playoffs, he hasn't been a consistent number one goalie. Um, in the league for a full season. You know, him and Michael Neuver have gone back and forth this season. I'd say he's their number one as of right now, but one of the worst, actually I think the worst team in hockey record was. It's not saying much. And the reason Nurse was a good move. You know, he's a you know, good depth defenseman that can definitely help you out. Uh, this was a, a very ca a very reasonable, um, you know, cap hit. And I think when you look at what he can do, you know, he's fourth on the team and hits third and block shots, averaging just a tad under 20 minutes a game, uh, actually the most in his in his career. So I mean, I think it's a, a good move. And uh, yeah, 1.9 million for next year and 2 million in 2014-2015. So six or seven, uh, you know, say he's your five or six defenseman. I mean, he's probably playing more than he should, um, you know, because the team struggles. But the team's struggles. Jesus, being congested really messes up your language. Uh, but, you know, I, I think he's, you know, he's a good player. Plays hard, can fight. Um, you know, gives you some tenacity on the back end that they don't have and gives you some heart and soul that they lack throughout that lineup. You know, you look at how just how much they've laid down and died this season. I know they've been playing better as of late, but, I mean, come on. You know, a, a broken clock is right twice a day. You know, the, this Washington Capitals team is in need of a full overhaul. But, uh, you know, these two guys aren't the reason for their problems. You know, I think it's good to keep them in the fold on cap-friendly hits that allow you flexibility and, uh, you know, allow them a chance, especially with Holby being a younger player, being only 23 years old, to uh, to play well and in two years sign a bigger contract, you know. In the, I think that's kind of like what Colorado did with Matthew Sheen. Um, you know, let him, you know, give him the short two-year deal. You know, pay him a little, maybe a little bit less than he'd want to, but, you know, in two years he can really cash in. And I think that's what the uh, Caps did with Holby. And I think with their asking, keeping a veteran defense when a 31-year-old guy in the fold, uh, the foreseeable future is a very smart move that allows you to um, not rush your young players to the NHL, which is important. Because when you rush young guys to the NHL, especially defensemen, it uh, tends to end poorly. So, end of the day, good moves, but the Washington Capitals still need a full and complete overhaul if they want to um, you know, be the organization they think they, they are and they think they should be. That's the next episode of the Power Play with CJ on the Caps, re-signing Holby and Erskine. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.